What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I will be reviewing Maleficent in preparation to watch and review the sequel when it's released next week. And it should be noted that I've only seen this once before when it was originally released. It was my second to worst rated film in this whole collection of Disney live action remake films with a score of 68%. That's a D letter grade. Not as bad as Dumb Dumbo, but there wasn't a lot that I actually loved about it when I first saw it. I was really curious to see if my rating would actually change much in the last five years. I can tell you now that the overall score has been bumped up some, but I won't tell you how much the score was bumped up until the end of this review, so stick around for that. So, let's take a look at this film that shines a light on xenophobia, and let's get cracking. This review is brought to you by the word of the day, xenophobia, a fear and hatred of strangers or foreigners, or of anything that is strange or foreign, like an evil Angelina Jolie fairy. Maleficent tells the age-old tale of Disney's Sleeping Beauty through the perspective of the so-called villain of the story, Maleficent. In this film, she isn't so much of a villain as she is a feared creature that, due to the action of humans, is forced to retaliate in villainous ways, like putting a sleeping spell on Aurora as a form of revenge against the king of the land who betrayed her in an unspeakable fashion. Starting off with some of the good, I do want to point out what others have been often talking about. This is a Disney live-action remake that isn't really much of a remake as much of it is a reimagining. There's a lot of creativity at work here, as writers had to fill in the gaps here and there to explain the motivations behind Maleficent's actions and to obviously make her a likable character at the same time. And as people would also like to point out, Angelina Jolie is the perfect casting choice for Maleficent. All of this is really good material for the foundation foundation of the movie, which I think moves a little bit too quickly when it begins. Maleficent is betrayed and then her goal is to stick it to the man, which she ultimately does about 30 or so minutes into the movie itself. It's after this point where the movie starts to feel kind of pointless. You see, part of the spell that Maleficent cast was age specific. Aurora must be 16 before the sleeping curse comes into effect and she cast the spell when Aurora was a baby, so a big chunk of the movie is literally just Maleficent standing around in the background watching Aurora grow up and every now and then she plays a trick on the caretakers for fun. Not for any kind of substantial furthering of a plot or anything, just to fill in the cracks and to watch Maleficent do some magic things. Because if this film was edited down to only the moments that matter, it would essentially just be a short film. There's a lot of stuff going on here that is done for entertainment purposes only, and a lot of that is just showcases different magic tricks. It, it takes a while until a real story goal forms, and even then, it's rather weak. This entire movie is all about showing the audience that they can tell the same story a different way. Sure, they can, but there's just so much going on in this movie that doesn't really serve a grand purpose. And I just feel like there's a lot of wasted material here. I do appreciate some of the different angles that they took, even if some of them were predictable. But as a whole, I, I still don't love the movie. I just appreciate it a little bit more after watching it a second time. I'm sure some of the distaste that I have for it has something to do with the fact that I don't exactly love Angelina Jolie, but it's more than that. It's time for that updated score. Remember, my original score was 68%, but what is the new one? 72%, 72 out of 100 possible stars. Bumping that letter grade up from a D to a C minus, so at the end of the day, my score did get bumped up all around, but not by a whole lot. But where does it rank now in the live action Disney remakes? in 6th place. It was in 10th place, but now there is 6 more movies under this one, so that's how big 4% of a difference can make. Guys, I want to hear what you guys have to say about Maleficent. Do you love it? Hate it? Or are you somewhere in between? I want to hear all about it in the comments down below, and as for YouTube, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button if you like this review and would like to see some more like it. Hit the thumbs up button because that always helps out my channel. And don't forget about that little bell icon because that helps notify you when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out!